Hi guys! Welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Tonight is the third recipe in our seasonal series for the month of December, focusing on holiday Christmas time recipes. And I promised two back-to-back -back cookie recipes. So last week it was thumbprint cookies. And this week we are going to be making keto frosted sugar cookies. So come along with me and let's get started. frosting it with a cream cheese buttercream and then I'm also going to be embellishing it with a little bit of decoration so it's quite easy the dough does need to chill for a few minutes so keep that in mind when preparing this recipe but other than that it has few ingredients and it would be very fun for the entire family to make so let's go ahead and get into it so to begin our cookies we need to do a couple of pre steps and the first one is we need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Also need a cookie sheet and I have a silicone mat on mine. If you don't have a silicone mat, I really recommend them. They're super easy, but you can use parchment paper instead. But either way, you need a lined cookie sheet for these cookies. Start with our dry ingredients and I'm going to be sifting them. So you're going to need two cups of almond flour. You're also going to need two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to put just a pinch of Himalayan pink salt in there. And I'm just going to sift these together and set them aside. I am going to set this aside now while we work on our wet ingredients. We're going to need a half a cup or one stick of softened butter. And I'm just going to use my hand mixer. Make sure that that was soft enough, and it is. I'm going to add some vanilla extract. I'm going to be adding one teaspoon. You could flavor this however you prefer. If you wanted to do almond or orange or lemon, whatever flavor you like your sugar cookies to be, but I'm just traditionally using vanilla. I'm going to add a half a cup of monk fruit erythritol granular. You can use any type of natural sweetener. I'm just going to take my spatula and mix that just a little bit before I start my uh, mixer just because the powdered natural sweetener can kick up quite a bit and this way it's just slightly pre-mixed. I'm going to add just two small squeezes of a squeezable sweetener. I'm using Splenda in this case. You could use Stevia if you prefer. You could omit this step if you wanted. I like to blend my sweeteners to offset the cooling taste if possible. Now we are going to be adding two eggs. Or the in the rain. 
Okay, now I'm going to begin slowly combining our wet and our dry ingredients to form our dough. Remember we have our sifted product that I set aside and I'm just going to start slowly incorporating the two together. Put about half in there. going to give this a couple further scrapes with my spatula just to make sure that everything got off the sides and the bottom and is well combined. Now I'm going to let this dough chill in my refrigerator for about a half hour 45 minutes before we start forming our sugar cookies. So you do want to let this chill at least 30 to 60 minutes. So it is going to go into our refrigerator for a half hour to an hour just to give it a little uh, chilling time. It helps make sure that your butter is firm because that's going to give you a really nice sugar cookie product. So into the refrigerator to chill. <clears throat> so because these are frosted sugar cookies, we need to make our frosting. And I'm going to be making a cream cheese buttercream. So I am starting with a stick of butter, four ounces. And then I also need four ounces of softened cream cheese, which is half a package. I want to add some vanilla extract. If you want to use a flavored extract in this step, you could. You could do almond or orange or lemon. Uh, you could do peppermint. It all depends on the type of frosted cookie that you're gonna be doing but I'm just gonna stick with vanilla. And I'm gonna mix those together before we add our sweetener. You can see that it's very soft, which is what we want. So definitely leave your butter and your cream cheese out as long as possible to get that softness. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of squeezy sweetener. And then I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of natural monk fruit erythritol powdered. You definitely need powder, a powdered product for frosting because it won't leave that granular taste. Okay, there is our frosting. Okay, so our dough has been in here for, I left mine in about an hour. So we are going to now scoop it into our cookie balls. Okay, so I have my cookie baller that I'm going to use and I'm going to Get my cookie balls on the cookie sheet. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas All around Oh, 
snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside Hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas So I am going to put these into our preheated oven. I'm going to start mine at about 16 minutes. It should take anywhere from 16 to 18 minutes or thereabout, but I'm going to start on the lowest amount of time first and then check on them. So that's 350, 350 degrees for 16 minutes. So 16 minutes worked out just fine and take them out and I'm going to let them cool and then I will show you the uh, frosting process. Taking these off the cookie sheet and putting them on a cooling rack. That will just make sure that they get cool all the way around before we start frosting them. And these cookies are not as delicate as the cookies we made last week, the uh, thumbprint cookies. These are just a regular sugar cookie so they they are a little bit hardier so we're just gonna let these cool for a few more minutes and then we will start icing them we're ready to begin the frosting process we have our icing that we already did and it's just been sitting here resting so it's ready to go and then I'm going to be using something fancy because after all this is Christmas. So I have two products that I'm going to be using today. First of all, I'm going to be using an edible sprinkle. These are green glitter flakes. I got these on Amazon. They'll be linked in our um, description and also on our favorites. But you, would, you could probably find this uh, locally at a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels. You just have to look. And it is nothing but gum Arabic yellow number five and blue number one. So it's basically just gum paste and color. So there's no flavor, there's no swim. Walmart carries Wilton. You just have to be, you know, checking and seeing what you can find. I, I did get these on Amazon though, and they will also be linked. They're not very expensive. They're less than $5. And once again, these have no flavor, no sweetener. They are simply just gum paste and color. Spreading spatula, and I'm just going to take one of my cooled cookies and just start icing them. And you can put as much icing or as little as you would like. It all depends on your preferences and how many cookies that you want to ice. And I'm going to get a little um, cup of water so that I can make a smooth top on this for our sprinkles. A cup of warm water and dipping your knife in there you can spread out the icing to make it really smooth because it kind of melts the butter temporarily. So if you want a really smooth product, you can do it like that. So once again, you put your icing on there and like I said, it all depends on how many cookies you have and how much icing you would like. Everyone is individual. If you wanted to forego the sprinkles completely and just color your frosting, you could do that. They do make food color in different colors, although I did try red the other day and it was not successful and it ended up like some kind of atomic pink orange. So just word to the wise. CJ. Hi. It's uh, beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Sure. Especially tonight because we have keto frosted Christmas sugar cookies. The sprinkles are pretty. Mm -hmm. These are good. I'm not just saying that because I say everything is good. <laughs> because the test batch you made on Sunday 
that wasn't good. Uh, it was way too sweet, and, but this is good with the cream cheese frosting. I agree. I think. And the cook, I think the cookies are better too. Yeah. So I don't know what, what you did different. Well, I had tried add, adding something to thicken them so that I would be able to roll them out for possible cookie cutters, and that was a fail. So. Yeah. So these are these are good. Yeah, um, these I are actually just... have something to compare them to, and these are a lot better than the ones we end up throwing away. We go the extra mile here at CJ's so, Keto Kitchen. But they're good. I like the cream cheese frosting. Looked like they were pretty simple to make. I mean, it took us a while just because we're doing it in between picking up kids and eating, trying to eat dinner and right. all this stuff. And but the dough is best if you chill it. Yeah. So that so takes a few minutes. It took a little bit just because of the dough, but we also were trying to do a bunch of other stuff too. But I think people will like it. That's another one of those things where they probably could do it with their kids or grandkids. Mm -hmm. They might like putting on the sprinkles. Although I could see sprinkles being all over your house if you let kids do it. But anyway, it's what it's, it's Were you talking it, to one of your coworkers when she said that her grandkids got frosting on the table leg and her dog was like yeah, going crazy over yeah. it? Yeah, so but I mean if you got if you're gonna go down that road you already know what's gonna it's happen. It's gonna be messy. So anyway, I think they're good. I think people will like them and good job, baby. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. In the month of December this year. So we have two more recipes coming up. So definitely consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload our further seasonal series recipes. We are also on social media. If you would like to join us there, we are on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. And that is CJ's Keto Kitchen. If you need any of the recipe information for this recipe and other recipes that we have done in keeping with the holiday theme, those can always be found on our blog, and that is cjsketokitchen.com. And on there, we will have this recipe. We will also talk about tips and tricks that we have learned while using this recipe and any other information that you might need. And most of our recipes are printable. So definitely check us out over there. We hope that you are having a wonderful holiday season, and we hope that you will come back and see us next week for another delicious recipe. And we'll see you then. The night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy